Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be working in the kitchen. And I've got to prime this wall because guess what? I got wallpaper. Now, I thought about doing tile. But with the trends and how they change, I didn't want Subway, even though I do love the look. I just really couldn't make up, on, make up my mind on what kind of tile to get. So, what I decided to do was just do wallpaper. The reason why I decided to, to do wallpaper was because it's wallpaper now is easy to remove. They make it that way. Let's see if I can't get it to focus for you. There you go. And if you change your mind, it's easy to replace. And it just, I just think it's just a better idea for right now. I just didn't want to go through all the mess of the grout, the mortar, all of that stuff. I'm just ready for my house to be put back together. And plus it would take several days, which I just don't want to spend all that time to put the tile in. And, you know, and plus if I end up not liking it, then you got to rip it all out and put up new drywall. It's just, this is just a better decision, I think. This is just a better decision. So before I put the wallpaper up, I have to prime this wall. I've already got one, I've got two coats on this wall and I put up just some painter's tape and it did that when I took it off. I was trying to do like a, a, a drawing of what shelving would look like right there and it tore the paint, I mean it tore the paper off. So it needs some more primer. When you prime new, when you put up kills, let's say kills, on new drywall, it's going to take several coats because that drywall is going to absorb it and absorb it and absorb it. And I still have probably one more coat to do throughout the house and another coat on the ceiling. So I'm just going to prime this real quick, then I'll shut you off while it dries and I'll put you back on and I'll start measuring, you know, for the wallpaper. I'm kind of excited because I really, really like this wallpaper. Can't wait to see it up. I know it sounds echoey in here, and that's because I don't have any furniture. I've got two chairs that I bought off the Facebook Marketplace for the dog, but he's starting to, you know, lose his sight and his, he's starting to lose his hearing. And since he's been over at my friend's house for so long during construction and things like that, he knows his way around, and it just would not be fair for me to bring the dog over here with all this construction, not knowing where anything is, this unfamiliar layout. It just wouldn't be fair, so um, I got to get rid of those chairs because I'll tell you what, that's a hot mess over there. Let me show you. <laughs> okay, look at those chairs. And then look at that rug. Oh my word. Woo! All right. So let me back out, back you out so you can get a better look. I know watching someone paint white on white is not very exciting, but I just want you along for the ride because I'm lonely today. Okay, I'm not worried about getting any primer on the ceiling because I primed the ceiling as well. So everything's in this house, all the walls in this house have been primed except for the bathroom because it's tile. I don't know what you can see, absolutely nothing. Now note, I don't mind getting primer on the ceiling because the ceiling is primed. So, yeah, spider to contend with. I tell you, when I did this house, I insulated the daylights out of it. I still got to do some more insulation in the ceiling, I mean in the attic, so, but it can wait because I am not in the mood to get up there on a hot day. I'm just not going to do it. I need to do blown in. If I was smart, well, I am smart. I would do foam insulation, spray foam. I gotta move this spider. 
Come on, dude. Oh, it's a, I don't know what that is. This is five of some sort. Anyway. But that's gonna have to come at a later date if I decide to do that because my friend, uh, he's the one that cut in the sink. He is wanting to start up a spray foam insulation company here. So I said, okay. So I think I'll be his first client. I think that sounds good. Okay, the air conditioner's on, but I'm just gonna play some music for you while I paint this. It won't take me but just a few minutes. second coat of primer on. I'm going to let it dry and I think tomorrow I'm going to start wallpapering. But for right now what I've got to do is feed my trees. I've got two apple, one pear, one plum, two oranges, and one ornamental banana. The, the ones, the uh, cavern dish, which are the ones you buy at the store, they aren't ready yet and so um, I'm going to take some black cow and I'm going to sprinkle it around the root area of the trees and get that done. So I got to load the bucket of the tractor so I can distribute all this black cow. I'm not hauling it. But so come along for the ride.
okay I'm not really worried about the weeds because I'm gonna get some tree rings they're rubber wide rubber rings that go around the trunk and let water through and prevent weeds plus I don't want to mow right up against my fruit trees I'm on the east side of my home underneath one of my grapefruit trees it's about 7 30 in the evening and it's almost sunset and the chickens should be coming home to roost and every night I help my chicken named Sophia go to bed she comes to me and asks me to put her to bed and I do I lift her up into the trees and she climbs wherever she wants and goes to bed <laughs> now I rename my chickens because I met with Collar Valley cook hostess name Tammy and her husband Chris and we had a three-hour lunch yesterday and it was absolutely delightful I ask that you do check out her channel if you like southern cooking and so basically I switched the names of my chicken because Tammy of Collar Valley Cooks has the most amazing red hair and my frizzle is a red feathered chicken and so my newest chicken is Tammy so I just switched the names because I just thought it was sweet and Sophia is the lady that I watch on YouTube as well and her name is I mean her channel's name is my great challenge so that's where the names come from but Sophia comes to me at night when I put her in the bed or comes to me to put her in the bed so I pick her up and I put her on a branch most likely this one see that one right there and she likes to sleep in she won't come out of the trees until around 10 a.m. so good for her she's a good girl okay I think we've decided it's time for bed all right come on there you go good boy tank come on Sophia They don't like the camera. <laughs> well, come on. Come on. Wanna go to bed? Come on, let's go to bed. You ready to go to bed? Pretty girl? You wanna get up here? Oh, good girl. Come on, come on, you can do it. Good boy. That's right, you tell him. All right, good night, you sweet angel. She's telling him to come over here. All right, Tank. Ooh, I must wipe that on the grapefruit. That's right, Tank. You tell him. camera's having a hard time focusing since it's getting dark. But there she is. See, she comes right to me and lets me lift her up in the air. I'm sorry if I didn't get it all on video, but I think I did a pretty good job. So anyway, this is a great Wednesday. There you go. All right. This is a great Wednesday. Glad I could share it with you. Ooh. Tank is not done. Oh, come on. 
Let me back up a little bit. Good night, Tank. Good night, Sophia. Good night, Tammy. Good night, baby. Good night, Tank. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching another fabulous Wednesday. There she is, that sweet girl. I'm glad I could share this Wednesday with you. Thank you for watching.